four-star potential cornerback and dual threat athlete Hu Han Johnson announced publicly a day after the spring game of 2023. First and foremost, I would like to thank the University of Colorado for believing in me, Johnson wrote at the time of his decommitment. I would like to thank Coach Prime, Coach Corey Phillips, Coach Kevin Mathis, and every other coach who continued to have a hand in recruiting me and for believing in my abilities. Johnson also posted on Twitter saying, Colorado's a special place for special people. My decision to decommit had nothing to do with the people in the building. I'm forever grateful for meeting Coach Dion and his staff. Overall, Wuhan Johnson may have realized there was some more competition of Boulder than he thought, or perhaps another program reached out and made a connection with him, or he really just had another plan all along. It's a little hard to tell right now, and there's a lot of buzz around this on the internet. Other big schools that Wuhan Johnson was really talking to and was almost expected to go do more with the crystal ball prediction over Colorado Buffaloes was Florida, Georgia, and LSU, and those were really in his top four. And 24-7 sports analyst and reporter Steve Bold Fong also expected him to land at LSU, and he actually plans to take another visit to Florida on June 2nd. So overall, anything can still happen, but onto different pastures, and the Buffaloes will find their fill as well. It is important to remember, though, Deion Sanders predicted players to leave from the beginning of his tenure at Colorado, and he and his new staff will definitely be prepared for personnel who will be leaving and for others to come. While not all of Coach Prime's new recruits may have received the same amount of play time for their big 2023 spring game televised debut, which occurred the weekend of August 20th, 2023, perhaps player development was at various paces with off-season training, and some personnel were curious about other opportunities. It is understandable that new transitions to emerging programs such as the Buffaloes may not be glorious from the start, but overall the Buffaloes did provide a good opportunity with scholarships for as many people as they could that really let go of a good thing a little too soon, in my opinion. Although some people had a great televised game day, as I said before, with new films such as the wide receiver Lemonius Craig with his two touchdowns, other personnel who were well regarded as well, such as defensive player Tavian Beasley, he announced his departure recently too, and I'll be sure to cover him. It is too bad that just this wide variety of recruits are leaving, and they're looking for a certain player mindset with a dog-like mentality, which will really help them just win football games. I hope Wuhan Johnson takes his time to make the right decision. I'm sure the Buffalo's new staff will continue the great work they do in making recruiting happen and reaching out to new players. With that being said, thank you for watching everybody. Night Owl Visuals reporting in. Please be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment for more regular video content.